Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Watch Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your reading, your daily reading for um, Tuesday, Tuesday, June 11th, 2019. Now keep in mind that time spirals, so what does that mean for energy? What it means is that you can resonate with this reading June 11th, Tuesday, or whenever you're guided to watch this reading, okay? Energy connecting through the space-time continuum. Okay, so I don't know why, but I was guided to not do anything with my hair after my shower last night. Someone wanted to see me all natural, so this is it, everyone. This is what my hair looks like. I don't know, that's weird. I, okay, I'm gonna finally get rid of this, this spread I did last night for my own soulmate because I hadn't checked in on him or done anything energetically like consciously in like a while like a long time since I started giving more to YouTube and like doing the Artigan stuff and I just got these cards and that's this is all I need I just wanted to show you guys really quick and then now I'm putting it all away because we're doing you now we are doing you okay so I just finished recording the update, the up, energetic update for the greatest love of all time part two. And I was guided to do that because I had channeled Gomez Adams yesterday, which I explained it all in the video. So go ahead and watch that. Um, downloads that I've been getting. I got one download today, but that's private. That was for me. I, I, I heard my counterpart. He promised me, he promised, he promised me we were going to watch all the movies I want. I heard his voice, so yay for me. But I don't think that's for you guys. I think that one's just for me. Um, I don't know why I decided to share it either. That's weird. I, I haven't, I don't, I don't know. That's weird too. I have to look into that energetically to see why I'm talking about my own part of it. Cause I hadn't before. You know, because I was doing weekly spreads every Sunday to energetically check in with my soulmate and myself to see how we were doing. And then I stopped, like I just stopped and I did more with you guys and I kind of just forgot about it. Um, focusing on my pentacles and my businesses and psychic abilities and YouTube and all that stuff. So <clears throat> Anyway, if you want to know more about the love story, the greatest love of all time, part two, go ahead and check out that video. But there are still, I'm looking at my list right here of downloads over the past three days that just have not come out yet, that have not been prompted by the tarot cards. Oh, it looks so weird. So let's see. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's wild. Wild. I guess it could be more wild, but anyway that have not been prompted to come out yet by the cards. So I'm gonna trust in divine timing that I will tell you and share with you when the time is right. Here we go, everybody, Tuesday. What do we have going on for? This one really wanted to come out, King of Pentacles. My little pentacles, focusing on my pentacles, reaching for them with my tentacles. Okay, weird, sorry. King of Pentacles, though, but for real. Really focusing on stability. Someone's trying to, this could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but more so it's the energy of it. So remember, blur and fudge the genders, the timelines, the signs, and the ages. This is someone mature, though. This is someone who is building wealth for the long run. They're building wealth for the long term. Long term. This this person thinks long term. Like for the rest of time, like till the end of time. And this person is taking control and like making decisions, big decisions about building wealth. Ooh, look at it just popped out at me, the castle. His mansion. So he has his mansion, he has his pentacle. Pentacle. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying not to be too goofy right now. Okay. So let's see what else we got. 
King of Pentacle. Sorry. Two's. Whoa. It came out like this, like right on my arm. Okay. So we have the moon. This man, this 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 King of Pentacles is going through emotional distress, emotional confusion. He wants to just retreat. He wants to like. He could be going through something in private. Outside, he's the king of pentacles and he's making his decisions. And inside, he could be going through emotional chaos. Emotional disturbances. Emotional... Oh, what's that word? Emotional disturbance. I'm just going to go with that. Emotional disturbances. Emotional chaos. That's what I'm going to stick with. The flip side, we'll get more cards out right now, but... The flip side, two things can be true at once. You can also be very creative. The moon card is wonderful for artists and creators because it's incredibly imaginative. It's the imagination. It's creative faculties. He could be imagining the future, imagining creating the future, being creative about the future. But I get the future. I get hidden. I get subconscious. Subconscious desires. Subconscious wealth. Hidden wealth, hidden desires, hidden creativity, secret, the fuck out of here, the fucking magician. This is someone who, oh, I love this card. I feel like this is me, but let me just tell you. So the magician, if you look, the roses and the lilies reflect the white in his robe and the red in his robe. The cosmic loveness gate above his head is a symbol for eternity. This is someone who has all the tools that they need to manifest whatever they want. In this case, it's pentacles. Lovely pentacles. But look, it's the balance between pure thought and desire. That's the red and the white. He has one hand up, reaching for the sky, and one hand down, kind of like the Baphomet, but pointing down towards the earth. This is someone who knows how to... Take the ether, take the ideas, the brilliance, the genius. He's the beacon of genius. And through desire, bring it down into manifestation. I love this card. This is what I do as a screenwriter. I take these images, I take these feelings, I take everything from above, and I can sit down and write a screenplay. So you or this other person could be taking something some inspiration from the ether and channeling it into work, art, contract, you know, what, business, whatever it is. But the magician is the person who can do it. The magician is the act of doing it. So this person could be inspired. Remember, the moon could be that inspiration. It's like he's taking the imagination and the inspiration and he's able to manifest He's able to bring something into being. He's able to see the moon is like the subconscious. It's in the ethers. The magician is actually the will and the ability to make it solid. And the king of pentacles is a solid person. I'm hoping you cannot hear that outside. They're doing, they're, the grounds people are cleaning and they're doing stuff. They're mowing lawns and they're landscaping. So I'm sorry if you can hear it. Try not to get pulled off. Pulled off. <laughs> the Knight of Wands rushing in. Very amorous, very charismatic. The Wands are charisma. The Wands are. I have to pause. I'm sorry. Okay, okay I'm back. So I had to really recenter myself because anger hardens me, it, it lowers your vibrational frequency so you can't vibrate as high. A higher vibrational frequency means everything moves a lot faster. So you're, it's like more floaty and anger and negativity and all that. It's like it slows everything down molecularly on the molecular level and it hardens you. So you become more solid. So things like that with distractions can get me just super hyped up and like, you know, super battle-like, which is really funny because the Knight of Wands is like, he could be brutal or he could be a great lover or he could be hasty, or he could be, it's like the coming or going of a matter, okay? Oh, that was a good, like, little slide right into the reading again. So, this King of Pentacles, this could also be 
un like a revealing of latent psychic powers. It could also be, um, I'm going to stick with the imagination because it's like there's something being imagined here that is then being manifested. So, or someone, the King of Pentacles is kind of getting in tune with their own psychic ability or their own energy work. And then they're able to manifest change in the 3D reality. So remember, the magician is taking power from above and directing it through desire into manifestation. It's incredibly powerful. Whatever you do, whatever power you're taking from above through desire and manifesting it, it's got you really excited to, to kind of go forward in this. So let's see what he's going forward about. Let's see what this inspiration, the magician, the knight of wands, the coming or going of what matter. What is the knight? What is the king wanting here? What is the king wanting to manifest here? Jesus. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry. She came out so dramatically. The Queen of Wands. I like to call her the middle class queen because she's so hardworking. She's like, I'm going to go plow this fucking field and I'm going to get a return on my investment if it's the last thing I do. No, she's totally in tune with, with harvest season and with, yeah, I mean, look at her. She's super... Okay, here's the thing about the Queen of Wands. The Queen, everything I just said about the Knight of Wands, the Wands are charisma. The Wands, it's creative energy. The Wands, it, it's it's just like the in the Great Love Story, the Greatest Love Story Part Two. I talk about the King of Wands being super charismatic, and I I talk about Gomez Adams being super charismatic. Gomez Adams to me is very much like a combination between like the transformations he goes through on a moment to moment basis, hour by hour, I'm sure is so scorpionic. If Gomez Adams is like if a Scorpio were externalized, like revealing everything going on with them. But the char the charisma of Gomez is so wands. It's so king of wands. And so the queen of wands is very charismatic, visibly charismatic. She's got, she's like a public speaker or she can, work a room or she can make a pitch. This is someone who's very successful at like pitching and illustrating the proposal or, you know, you're going into a sales meeting and, you know, they have the floor. Good, good in sales, you know, very, very, very attractive to people, to the public, to the audience. Okay. So it's like he's good. He's good. It's funny. It's like he's going towards this woman who's just very like in her own right, very like charismatic, a mover and a shaker, a mover and a shaker. She has, she's bold. Thank you. I always forget that word with the wands. It's so frustrating. They're, these are, this is bold energy here. So it's like while he's trying to manifest the pentacles for the long term, it's like he's getting his own insight and his own, he's putting together his own manifestation technique in order to make his approach, in order to boldly step forward into his, maybe destiny, but in order to make an approach to someone of a very heroic temperament, of a very charismatic aura about them. Queen of what he's heading towards the Queen of Wands. It's, it's just funny. Could be um, a fire sign or an air sign. Doesn't have to be. It's just, remember, it's blur the signs, the ages. So he's heading towards her. He wants to, oh shit, sorry. I got four cards. I'm taking them all. Okay. Here we have the three of swords. Someone was hurt by words in the past. Someone was heartbroken or someone's about to be heartbroken. There's heartbreak here for sure. So it could be you, another person, the past, the future, the present, heartbreak. And with words, some harsh words being spoken here. The Hierophant. This is the outer forms of religion. This is the ceremony. This is the ritual. Could be the serious commitment of marriage. Could be. No, this is, a, this is the King of Pentacles. He's very serious. Oh, I forgot to tell you. When I took a break from that noise, that 
I, like I just got so frustrated because I want to change my whole thing here for you guys. I want to make this whole thing different. I want you guys to be able to see the cards on the table. I want you to see, you know what I'm saying? I just want like a different environment. And it was just frustrating. But when I was calming myself back down, when I was really bringing my energy back and when I was aligning everything that I align, I heard a voice. And the voice said, I saw the moon card. I saw this moon card and I heard the voice say, I'm connected to a desire I never even knew I had. You are another person here. I'm thinking it's this though. I think this, maybe Divine Masculine, this person's connected to a desire that they did not know that they had before. Remember, the, the moon can bring things to light. It's emotional chaos, but can also bring like exposed things. It's a subconscious. So it could be this rising out of the subconscious mind into his conscious awareness. That he's, he's realizing that he wants to manifest something. And now he is, and now he's trying to do it, and he's had, he's putting it all together to head forward. Hierophant's this, this, um, the commitment, it's the, the seriousness. So weird. I don't like that. I don't like that the phone's listening to me all the time. Okay. Then we also got the four of swords. So we got the three and the four of swords. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So this is not, this is the past because someone is in meditation about it. Someone is making sense of the heartbreak. Someone is ready to, the four of swords. I really like this card a lot. If you can observe this icon here, the person is laying down almost in prayer, almost on the head of a casket or coffin or something. And there's a stained glass in the back and three swords are on the wall. The one is right here. This is meditation. It's two things. It's taking a break from a lot of activity or it is preparation for a lot of activity. So I'm thinking this person, this king of pentacles, this hierophant is taking a breather from heartbreak, a heartbreaking situation, like they're, they're resting from it, they're recovering from it, or they're gearing up, they're preparing themselves to break someone's heart. They're meditating, they're bringing their energies in, and they're getting ready to, to do that, to break someone's heart. Let's just put it all behind me. Put it all behind me. Okay. I don't know. Someone wanted to see this hair like this. Today. It's the weirdest thing. Okay. Anyway, the last card I pulled that came out in this little glob of four, the Ace of Wands. So this is a bold, brand new beginning. This is a creative enterprise. There's a lot of creativity coming through here. A lot of creativity coming through. The Ace of Wands is... The aces are the purest, most concentrated form, the most concentrated, powerful energies of the suit. So the ace of wands is significant of a brand new, strong, bold, creative beginning. Okay, so for me, it could be starting a new screenplay. For you, it could be starting a new creative project, starting a new business, starting a new endeavor, starting a new... It could be making a baby. It could be making a baby. Little, 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 little. What's more creative than creating life? I mean, honestly. So much respect to the mothers and the fathers out there that are watching right now. Tip my hat to you. So either way, this is also like um, the beginning of a lot of great sex. And with this queen of wands, she's super feisty. She's super feisty. She's super feisty. Okay, let's move on. So it's like this person's finally getting serious. Because the Hierophant is just like the serious guy. It's like this person, the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, is getting serious about hmm, moving forward in the heart chakra. Chakra. Serious about moving past the heartache and the pain. Like in a real meaningful way. Okay, you or someone, you know, just take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. 
Oh, how long was the other video? I don't know. I don't know how we're doing on time right now. I have no concept of time right now. We'll do one more card. What is this for Tuesday? What's our last message for Tuesday? What, whoever's watching, what do they need to know about Tuesday? Jesus Christ. Hold on. Okay. We have another queen, people. We have the queen of cups. So the advice to you for Tuesday is to use your intuition. It's to use your intuitive faculties. Use what you know. Use what you believe. Use what you cannot see but know in your gut. This is about following your gut. It's about nurturing yourself. Only she knows what's inside this chalice. This is the only chalice that is covered in the entire deck. Only she knows what's inside. The stream of consciousness runs around her. See? That's a good one. She's gazing at it on her throne. The cherubs around her. It's like she's staring at it and she's just thinking about what's inside and feeling what's inside with her intuition. You've got to use your intuition. You have to follow your gut. That's the message and that's the advice for Tuesday or for whenever you're guided to watch this video. With this, I end my reading. Let me know how it goes in the comments below, and I will talk to you soon.